Okay, so this video I'm actually pretty excited to make because before I went to boot camp, nobody had this information and I was actually kind of mad. So, hairstyles and hair products in boot camp. Natural hair, like pull back. Like I wore my hair just like this in boot camp. I just pulled it back and there's a I have a, a bun, a bun maker, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. In my head to make it like nice and perfect and then just like slick it back. You don't have that much time in the morning to get ready. Like you literally don't have that much time. So I did what I had to do, just slick it and go. But a lot of girls did have cornrows and they have to go just straight back. Um, you can't have box braids, not at all. Like no box braids. Dreads are not even allowed in the Navy. So if you have dreads, those aren't in regs at all because they're not allowed. I was mad because I had box braids before I went to boot camp and that's what I wanted to wear. But then I had to take them out and then I just did the natural slick back. Uh, I did see some weaves. But the only thing with that is in boot camp, there's a, a role called no recruit to recruit contact. So say if you wanted to take your weave out and you don't know how to do it by yourself, you kind of going to be in a dilemma. Like I saw some girls who's like, hello, it was grown out to like back here, like, hello, like, like no offense or anything, but like I, I did see that and I'm just like, mm, I would prefer the natural or the cornrows because, you know, hair grows pretty quick, you know? And it was like back here and weaves, cornrows, the slick back. That is mostly what I saw. Cause you know, there's not too much you can do. You have to be in regs. You know, it has to be slick back in the bun. It has to go, your hair has to be above your collar. It can't go past this at all. Can you see that? It can't go past that. For me, it was easiest like this because, oh, I'm gonna show you what I use. So you guys, I actually have the products here. And bootcamp gel, this got to be glued spiking glue this is what i used every day because this held my hair down and it did the job it didn't work for everyone because some people will be like oh it's not working for me but that's what i use this is what they sell at the next so this is one of the gels got to be glued and then here's another one that i was using at first but then it wasn't really working and this is exactly the size it comes in this little hello this is my head this is it it's so small so the tresme tray gel extra hold four out of five that's a that's not extra hold but this is what i was using in the beginning and then i had to switch it up because you know it just really wasn't holding but it might work for you just know this this small so uh when i first seen this bottle i said is that edge gel that's edge gel this is not for my head like i need maximum coverage and this is so little so i had to buy like seven of these and then i found the got to be glued and i just use this for the rest of my boot camp because this stuff your hair would be rock solid that's the only con with it rock solid but in the morning i didn't even have to redo my hair because it was rock solid it was still the same style it was before so Whew. um yeah this is the really two main gels and they also have jam if y'all know what i'm talking about they got that jam in there too they got jam okay th these are the really only two gels so got to be gluten trust me but they also have jam they have like hairspray to like hold your hair cantu they have cantu they have the cantu uh shampoo the cantu conditioner and it's a couple cantu creams and then like that was it like I, there wasn't that much you know for a sister I survived off of this so just give this a try your parents can send gel in the mail i do recommend it but i don't at the same time because you're gonna have to put that gel in your a and b drawer and your a and b drawer is like a shoe box and there's already a whole bunch of stuff in your a and b drawer because at first i'm like okay i could fit stuff in this drawer but then they give you stuff that you have to put in your a and b drawer so i was like so it's not just all personal it's some of the stuff from your c bag that has to go in your a and b drawer and then it's stuff that you want to put in your a and b drawer i thought that was a setup because i'm like there ain't no space in here your gel if you have your pads if you have personal stuff like all your stuff that it is not in your rack or in your backpack has to go in your a and b drawer so i was like 
So I just stuck with this. The Echo Styler Gel, that's what I use. Like, I mean, I bought this in A school. They don't have this in boot camp, but I was looking for this the whole time. Like I had the big, big bottle. They don't sell this in boot camp. That's the con. Like I was gonna write a letter to my mom and like ask her, like, can you bring me some Echo Styler Gel? But then I was like, this can't fit. This can't fit in my AMB drawer. Cause I already have so much stuff that was in there. So like I made it work with this. You know, this is a little small and just slide it in the drawer and it works, so. Whew. These are my tips to you guys because I was mad. I was, you know, thinking like, what am I gonna use for my hair? There was no videos on YouTube about hair products. And I was like, what, why not? These are the ones that I brought back from boot camp because I was like, I mean, I don't really use them anymore because I, you know, went back to my original Echo Styler gel, but this is what I used for the most part. And this little itty bitty sample bottle ain't gonna touch up nothing but some edges, so. Yes. Anything else? I covered hairstyles. Like I said, I went with the net. This is how I went like this. You know, it was more slick bag. I had a long day today, so it's messed up. But yeah, I went like this. Oh, and. Attention voting. Anyone that has laundry on the second set, attend to it. Attention voting. Anyone that has laundry on the second set, attend to it. One MC in A school, so they make announcements a lot. But I was like, what was I saying? Oh, if your hair is not natural, they're going to make you dye it in boot camp. So dye your hair before because they only gave us just something like 15 minutes like to dye your hair it takes time you know dye it to a natural hair color so whatever color your eyebrows are dye it your eyebrow color so it's natural because otherwise you're gonna have to dye it in boot camp and that's extra that's extra time extra work you don't want to have to do that just have a dye before you get back like i had like some weird blonde brown thing going on and i dyed it black oh they have like a little bottle like of argan oil they have like carrot oil tea tree oil they have a little oils and stuff there's more stuff that i didn't mention because i didn't buy it but i bought the argan oil that's why i remembered it, it smells like grapes it smells really good Whew. that is that um do i have any more to add to it no thank you for watching this video with me again today i am sierra leah hey aka cc have a blessed day MVP, 09 all the way to 16. Even next season looking like a breeze. A lot of y'all ain't built for the league. Yeah. Trade you off the team, why you in your sleep? Yeah. Y'all show me that nothing's guaranteed.